Whether you want to accelerate faster or just make it home with a snapped clutch cable, clutchless shifting is a useful technique to master. So today we're going to go over what that means, how to do it, why you should learn it, and when you might want to clutchless shift yourself. For once, a motorcycle technique has a straightforward name because clutchless shifting is 100% just shifting gears without pulling in the clutch. It can be done for upshift and downshift, barring the right technique, and is a faster way to shift when mastered. Unfortunately, clutchless shifting is somewhat of a dying skill thanks to the rise of quick shifters and auto blippers that also eliminate the need to pull in a clutch while shifting. Although I do love a good quick shifter noise. But nevertheless, I stand by it being a useful skill to learn. You're probably used to shutting off the throttle, pulling the clutch in, clicking it up or down a gear, letting the clutch out, and then getting back on the throttle to change gears. That's because when you're accelerating or decelerating, your bike's gearbox is under load, meaning the gears are being meshed together with a lot of force. So if you tried to pull the gear lever up to shift, it wouldn't move. This is why we need to pull the clutch in to shift. This takes the load of the engine off of the gearbox and allows us to shift. However, when you shut off the throttle, there is a brief moment where the gearbox is not under load. And in this brief moment, it is possible to change gears without using the clutch. All you have to do when accelerating is close the throttle and then shift up. To practice getting the timing right, you can put a little pressure on the gear lever while accelerating. Then when you close the throttle, you will feel when the bike naturally clicks up a gear and that is the perfect time to shift. So with a little practice, you'll be able to shut off and shift at the perfect time, which is faster and smoother than using the clutch to shift. In fact, I'd argue that I'm not that much slower than a quick shifter, but I should also know better than to doubt technology. Clutchless downshifting does require a bit more skill, since this will usually be done when you're decelerating and the throttle will already be closed. There will still be load on the gearbox from the deceleration, but now to remove the load, you'll have to blip the throttle to rev match, changing down a gear when the revs peak. The same method of putting a little pressure on the gear lever can be used to practice finding the perfect moment to blip and shift. It might sound bad for your bike to be skipping a crucial step in the shifting process, but if done right, it won't add any extra wear to your bike and it'll be pretty obvious if your technique isn't right, simply because your shifting won't be smooth. Personally, I use it on upshifts a lot more than downshifts, because it can save more time when upshifting than downshifting. It feels rather satisfying to get it right, and can make you feel like you have a quick shifter. If done fast enough, your hand movement is barely perceptible. There might also be a day when some cheeky clutchless shifts are what help you limp home after your clutch cable snaps. So it's never bad to learn a new skill, even if quick shifters and auto blippers are trying to get rid of all our biker skills. But anyway, share this video with a mate who needs to learn to clutchless shift, subscribe to learn more biker jargon, and I'll see you on the next ride.